Hey, here we are, another great hike, Hike 360. We're in Canada, New Brunswick. This is the Fundy Coast in the Bay Welcome of- Welcome back. Morning. <laughs> We're still hiking the Fundy footpath. We have made it to the Fundy Parkway. And we slept last night at Little Salmon River. But we met the most helpful people last night who have done this trail 20 times and they were able to give us so many answers to questions we had such as the kilometer system being more of an aerial uh, uh, measurement which kind of makes the kilometers a height longer than than what they're marked as welcome back it's all of about one minute later. Wow. You know, these uh, river areas are so real. I mean, this so we're, is what, our sixth river crossing? Fifth or sixth, yeah. All right, we're, uh, we're gonna have an easy river crossing. So, although it's easy, I'm still kind of, you know, trying to stay close. Until it gets tough. Yeah, this is nothing. So, you know, river dynamics real quickly. When it's smooth, it's usually deep. Where it's ripply, it's usually shallow. And then where it's rapidy, that's that's bad because it's <laughs> deep with a big rock. Deep is <laughs> right. Um, so you know, try to learn some basic river mechanics, and uh, it's helpful. And so, you know, I saw this kind of being very ripply when we were down there filming earlier and we came up here and it worked out and the sun's going to come out it might rain at the end of the day so we're putting some extra minutes in at the beginning of the day all right we are at cradle brook and we got some there's a good campground here uh it seems to be low tide shouldn't be low tide right now you can see where Ryan's going. There's uh, this stair concept. There's a lot of those stair concepts that we got to tackle. But uh, the rain came a little earlier than expected. And we got to deal with that. We have 12 kilometers left. So we are hauling here. We're at the 10K mark or 9K mark, I don't know where we are. <laughs> Nine, 9K mark. Uh, it's right after you know the rain finally stopped, and the forest is unbelievably quiet and still, except for us two buffoons hiking through it. And from just a hundred feet ago, it looked like we might be at sea level just to find out that we are not even close. We are not at sea level. Well, we're at uh, Sealy Beach, or just about to be on Sealy Beach. This is our view. Way down there sticking out in the water is Martin's Head. That was the end of day two. So in a day and a half, that's what we've covered from that distance to here. And uh, we had two full days of distance north of that or yeah i guess it is north yeah we've covered a lot of distance and i'm i'm sitting here just admiring how really amazing this trail is i mean you're just at the edge of land where the rivers are all letting out and going down and up all the all the river carvings i mean it's when i first saw it i had no idea what i was looking at what to expect or 
what it was, but having now gone through it climbed up and down each one of these things every single one <laughs> it's like i understand it much better now and what's happening and i can really appreciate it so, yeah well we're on our way again after lunch i turned on because that coloring over the ocean is just so wonderful i love that it's too bad that it's an indicator of rain. We went all the way down across the stream. We went all the way down almost to the edge of the water. Uh, you know, you can see the tide here. So we haven't had too many indicators of tide. We've talked about it a lot. I think this is us. But uh, yes. But this is a clear example of how many feet. I mean, this tide's coming way, it's going out still. And when it comes back in, it's going to be way up here. All these rocks have seaweed on them. It's all pretty active. So. A line right here. There's some more high tide lines. And that's yeah. a massive amount of distance. Got a little bird there. Okay, so we are between Sealy Beach and Big Salmon. And obviously walking right along the cliff. And you can definitely tell it's low tide. Oh, we've got a river crossing here coming up. So is this big salmon or is this some other? It doesn't no. feel like big salmon. I feel like there will be a sign. Yeah. But the guy we just talked to said there's only one more river crossing. Okay, well, looks pretty easy looking at the beach. Just find rocks that we don't slip on. It has been hot and hard. I'm sweating on my face, which is amazing. I don't do that very often. So we're at a little jetty. We've got uh, some parking lots and some streets that are you know, visible and audible so we're definitely coming we're in the parkway park holy cow oh, i'm glad it turned out yeah crow's got a lot to say all right so you can see you know high tide comes all the way to the edge here yeah that's a that is a big tide yeah you can see it Look at how far Martin's head is. Can't see Nova Scotia anymore. Oh, that's weird. Any uh, comments about this hike? We're coming to an end. It's been an adventure. Sure has. Definitely the most challenging hike I've done. Yeah. Um, Glacier National Park would be probably number two. Okay. Yeah, that was the, the hardest multi-day hike I've done. Yeah. All right, where are we? Any idea? 3K from the finish line? This trail will, trail will not give up. Every mile is earned. Every kilometer is twice. <laughs> is that where are we going? That's what I'm saying. It's it's a wraparound. I'm not really sure, but I think this is the way. Oh, there's more down there. There's more down this way. Okay, that's the way. Yeah. So the trail we haven't talked about. It. The trail is actually really well marked because it has to be. As you can see, there's all kinds of white marks on these trees. And they're like every fourth or tenth tree, and it, whole way. it really has to be the whole way because it's super simple to get off trail. You you know you every step counts. Um, you know they're all like this. So in total, we'll have a hundred thousand steps for this. It'll turn out to be closer to fifty mile rather than fifty kilometer right. hike, and. Uh, you know you really have to pay attention so thankfully they have marked uh very well yeah all, all hundred thousand steps that we've done 
are mentally calculated. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, thankfully both of our knees are in good shape. Yeah. Look at that ocean. Wow. So this is probably the last time we'll turn on until we get to the end zone. Which is somewhere around that bend. We're 3K away. It's coming to a close. Mm. North Atlantic Bay of Fundy. It's a special spot. This is the victory strut. <laughs> I got a victory mosquito on my ear. Oh boy. I feel it. Feel the bridge. I think the bugs want to come home with us. Yeah. Well, this is the easiest river crossing we've had all week. Yeah. Woo! Oh my. I'm going to stand up straight. I do uh, a couple of these in Switzerland if you tune in over to the Swiss Cheese Trails. You do? Shout out Swiss Cheese Trails. <laughs> I think uh, my most popular, most watched video is crossing one of these. Oh, that was a hike 360 hike. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we reached my limit. Dad doesn't want to do another one of these. Not like this. That was hard. So I think summoning Mount San Jacinto would be off the table for you. Probably. <laughs> it's a pretty tough one. And then how, now that, that you have coming up on air or already passed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And how many feet of elevation? It's the highest. Vertical highest, climb. highest, uh, most elevation gain in a in a single day hike hiking trail that that exists in the U.S. Ten thousand six hundred feet. It's called the the trail's called um, Cactus to Clouds because you start at sea level in the desert, yeah, and you end at the top of a mountain with snow and ice. Beautiful. Well, that one we'll have to highlight in the show notes for this one. Good one. Mm. It smells so good. Yeah, the air. We didn't really mention the air. Everything. Every time I got really upset, like we'd cross a turn, make a turn, and the 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 sea breeze or the mm -hmm. fresh water in the river air just rejuvenated me. How did you feel? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think that the air quality is really, really pristine here in the Bay of Fundy. There were no boats, a, not a no. single boat, not on one whole, boat on this whole uh, excursion over four days no harbors i mean i don't know i just didn't see any of that um planes did you see any planes i heard i heard one last night I, I if we were out of service i wanted to get my plane tracker and see if it was going to where in europe it was going yeah it's an overnight flight but uh no this is this is a special place and now when i fly over this which does happen mm -hmm. um I'll be able to look out the window, say, I've been down there. I've been up and down and up and down and up and down there. Oh, God. Up and down and up and across those rivers. Well, thank you for staying with us for four days, 50 kilometers and 50 miles, yeah, whichever 40, you 49 prefer. miles, 32 hours of hiking. Yeah, we're at nine hours and six minutes right now for, for the day. Today. I got 13, uh, almost 13 and a half miles. Oh. Tune in tune in next time we're going to Hawaii. Oh yeah. Right. Sneak Promo Hawaii. We're going to Hawaii. That's the other side of the planet.